see is so fair. Your father is a very wicked man. From my source, I got to know that Henry's mother gave your father half a billion. Even after getting the contract, this is how it happened. When Henry's mother was having an affair with your father, because she became too much in love with him, thinking he's a gentleman, she revealed to him that she has over a billionaire in her account. I don't know how this woman was thinking, as in, why on earth did she tell a man how much she has in her bank account? Who does that? Even if he's my husband, I will reveal such. The mind and the heart of a man is very wicked. And I know that it was greediness for money that made my father to act so wickedly. Oh, more, I didn't know my father is this heartless. No wonder he doesn't fight with my mother at all. Even when my mother does something to piss him off, my father won't argue or even shout. Do you know the funny part, Steph? He will even be the one to go apologize to my mother. And sometimes, when he does all those things, I find it very weird. But I totally ignored it. Now I know the reason why my father is always calm. And my mother thinks she married a caring and loving man. Hey. And the worst part is that he even spoils my sister without control. Isabel is in the club every weekend. She doesn't miss it. Isabel gets whatever she wants. Because I am different, this man just dislikes me for no reason. Sometimes if I want to speak sense into my sister, he gets angry and overprotective over Isabel. Sometimes I ask if he's actually my father because he doesn't treat me the way he treats Isabel. Not everything I requested will be granted. But if it's Isabel, <laughs> everything she requests, even to the floor, my father would do it. <laughs> that is not the only thing. Though. Your father forcefully withdrew the remaining money inside Henry's mother's account before finishing her off. See, once I gather the remaining story, I will let you know. For now, please and please, don't argue. Don't do anything with Henry. Ignore him. Be good with him. Don't do as if you are having an issue. Don't make him notice that you know anything. Just be natural. Be very careful. If not, he might spy you. He will kill you if you double cross him. So be cool so he won't suspect a thing. But I'm scared, Steph. I'm really scared right now. I don't know how to react to this information. Even my father. I don't know how to look at that man right now. How can a man be this wicked? Oh, 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 oh. Sophia. I actually forgot something. <laughs> Just know that your father don't care if you are his daughter. Don't do anyhow. If you get home, pretend and be good with him. He has a secret family. They are living abroad. The woman gave birth to three boys for your father. They are the real family he has. You people who are just commodity. Just that, Henry, I don't think he figured out or he found out about your father's secret family. If not, they are the people he's supposed to go and attack. Because that second woman is the reason for your mother's condition. 
the main reason your father got greedy and wicked, heartless to do what he did. So just be cool. I will contact you and tell you what next to do. For now, lay low. Oh, wait, wait. You mean my father has another family? Hey, hey whoa. No wonder. He didn't mind my mother not giving birth after she gave birth to me. I asked my mother severally why she didn't give birth again. At least give my father a son or another child. My mother would tell me, eh, your father said he doesn't want another child. Your father said he's only two child that he wants and two of you are okay for him. My father said this. My father said that. My father, my father. Do you know my mother practically worship the ground that this man walks on? Fear men. Fear men. Hey, I remove car for you, papa. No problem. I will be very careful and wait for your call. It has been three days since Habiba left Halima's house and she didn't call Halima to tell her how she went about Frank's house and what really happened. She was pacing up and down in the sitting room, dialing Habiba's number. But it wasn't connecting. It has not been connecting for the past three days. Mama, are you okay? You look worried. Tracy asked her mother, Is my friend, oh, Tracy? Oh, Auntie Habiba? Yes, since she left here, she hasn't called me, unlike her. And I'm really, really worried. Her phone is switched off too. Which makes it more bad. Hmm. Mama. I know you won't believe me. Oh, but I will try and see if you will. Don't call me talkative, please. Just listen. What if I tell you that Auntie Habiba is in a lot of trouble? Would you believe me? How? How do you know that? I know you asked me to leave that day to go and buy drinks for myself and Auntie Habiba because you don't want me to know about Auntie Habiba's story and what she was trying to tell you that day. But don't worry yourself. Save yourself the stress because I already know the story. She killed someone. Hey, Tracy. Uh -huh. And they are after her life now. If care is not taken, they will kill her, Mama. If she didn't go about it the right way, there is problem. Tracy, what is this again? So, you were eavesdropping on our conversation that day? No, Mama, I wasn't. Thank God, you met me talking to that senseless girl that is our neighbor. Shut up. Close your mouth. So, I don't want anybody, nobody should hear this so I don't want my friend to be in trouble. Okay, Mama, I will lower my voice. Please, Mama, calm down, calm down. Your body today hurts. Actually, Auntie Habiba is in a very big trouble, Mama. How? Would you believe me if I tell you that Auntie Habiba was kidnapped? Jesus, kidnapped. How, Tracy? Mama, stop shouting now. Are you not the same person that said I should not shout? If you shout again, me, I will not talk. Oh. I don't know why you are shouting up and down. Hey, hey, Jesus, stop calling that name. It's the name of someone that is on his own. Please, stop disturbing the person. Just calm down and listen. Ha. Huh. Tracy, what on earth did I give birth to? See, Mama, don't you know that Auntie Habiba is in a very deep trouble, don't you? She messed with the wrong family. The Alahaji in question is a very dangerous man. Now, Auntie Habiba 
went and killed him. But Tracy, she didn't kill him. He didn't die. It was him that called Habiba. Mommy, did Auntie Habiba tell you that she spoke with Alahaji herself? Alahaji is dead, Mama. The person that was talking to Auntie Habiba is Alahaji's son, who recently did an autopsy and found out that his father was poisoned. He decided to get to the root of the problem. He investigated and found out that the father was doing a way match when it happened. From there, the person that pinned Auntie Habiba to Alahaji gave out her number because he was threatened. So, Auntie Habiba is a murderer. Now, the yeye man that Auntie Habiba stupidly went and gave the whole money to is the more dangerous person. I don't know why women always behave cowardly. Your friend can love you. So, she decided to fall in love and the only human being she saw is that scum called Frank. Ah uh ah, -uh. Auntie Abiba. You fall hand upon all the street babe where you be. Anyways, mama, she has to be very smart. She must collect that money from Franco. If not, she will lose her whole family. And her life too. God forbid. I don't know how you got all this information, Tracy. But I seriously need to talk to Habiba. Uh -uh. Mama, I haven't been speaking in tongues since we were here. I just said Auntie Habiba is in deep trouble. She has been kidnapped. And I know, as a smart street girl, where she be, your friend, uh, she's a very smart street girl, she will come out. Just calm down, Mama. She will call you soon. Eh? Which kind of picking be this? type of a child is this one talking to me so boldly without even blinking an eye i am your daughter oh, your last daughter only if papa will not put twins again will you shut up your mouth tracy i have warned you about the way you talk about your father stop it just then a decola walked in and he heard when Tracy was talking to her mother. No, you are the one encouraging this. See the way she casually talked about your husband. But no, you won't spank or beat her. I am always the one beating this smorat that opens her mouth and talk anyhow. But Papa, I'm just saying the truth now. Did you or did you not want to get my mother pregnant again so that she will give birth again after six children? Children, you, you don't help in raising, Papa. Repent, though. Women are not a commodity, especially my mother, my precious mother. Tracy had to leave before her father gives her another slap of punishment. Adekola turned to Halima. Are you seeing it? Did you see the child you gave birth to? Did you see the way she was just talking to me? This is I am very, very worried right now. And this, this situation right here, is the least thing in my mind. Please, my friend Habiba, she's missing. I need to find out where she is. If you know, I am doing a terrible job raising Tracy. Just take over. The best thing you can do is to just take over. She's still a child though. She's still very small. Train her properly, my darling husband. Eh? As Habiba walked out of Frank's house, 
she was walking on the street, going back home, and a car pulled over and kidnapped her. She was taken to a house, and she was blindfolded. Habiba was begging and pleading for them to release her. Not until her blindfold was removed, she started to beg. Please, I beg you, anything you need, anything you want, I will give you. Please, just let me go. Hmm. I didn't know you are this beautiful, pretty one. Or um, more. See skin popping. Is it milk that you are using to bait? You are so beautiful. But wait, how can a pretty girl like you have the mind to kill someone that pays you million every day to have fun with you? Why? I say, how you get mine? Do that kind thing to my father. Eho Alaja Usman. Do you even know who you messed with? <laughs> it's like you don't ask questions so before you did what you did. Now, I ask you again. How did you get the mind to buy my father without thinking twice? I, I, I am sorry, please. I was forced to do it. I have all day, pretty girl. You are so beautiful. Tell me what happened. Life happened, sir. Life happened. I am not a Ross girl. I, I, I am not a Ross girl. Or, or a pin. As, as it's called. My brother, a few years ago, was sick. We thought it was normal sickness, so the normal one that comes and when someone takes drugs, it will, it will, the person will get better. But his own became so serious. We rushed him to the hospital. It was confirmed after the doctors ran several tests on him that he has kidney failure. My family. They yeah, were not doing well financially back then. So I had to enter streets so I could save my only brother. That was how I was pinned to your father. But on that very day, I didn't know your father had such money. I swear, I didn't know. He was the one that opened the, the box in, in front of me and took out some dollars and gave it to someone that came to the hotel room that day. But what really happened, what really transpired was that your father wanted me to drink alcohol, but I refused. I drink alcohol, no, but I don't drink it if I'm doing this kind of wrongs because I'm a girl and I have a light head as I easily get drunk. So your father forced me and I took a lot of alcohol and I became drunk. And as a girl that goes out at night, travel to go and do this kind of dangerous thing, I was prepared. I was really prepared for anything. In, in case the person is a ritualist or these people that sells body parts. So, I took the alcohol after your father forced me. And we started to do the do. He started to choke me. He was really choking me. Looking very serious. I had to save myself. That's the only way is just to inject him. See, sir, the injection is just a sleeping injection. No, nothing more. I didn't intend to kill him, please. After I eject him, I had to take the money and I ran because my brother's life depends on it. I didn't know whether he died or not. Well, pretty one, after this your long story, 
for your information. My father died because of the poison you gave him. But sir, I didn't poison him. It wasn't poison. It was just a sleeping antidote, sir. I swear. I can't intentionally kill someone just like that. Well, I know my father very well. And I know what he is capable of doing. So, I'm going to forget some part of what happened and get straight to the main point. If I'm to forget about the fact your poison killed my father. Wait, your father is dead. Are you a fool? Of course, you've heard me say that severally. He is dead. But there is no but. I lied to you. So, you won't run away. That money is too big for you to finish. Where is the money you stole? That is the main reason why you are here. There is a problem, oh, about the money. <laughs> this one is what will get you killed. If you don't produce my father's money fast, you will sit here and watch your whole family die, including your brother. I will remove the kidney. After all, it was my father's money that kept him alive. Oh no, please, please, I will do anything you want. Please, please don't involve my family. You will do anything I want? Yes, I will. Then, you will have to bring the whole money you stole. If not, look at the video I'm showing you on the phone. Are you seeing your mother? God, please, don't harm my mother, please. I beg you, please. Listen, and listen good. Bring the money and your family are off limits. See, I only took the money for my brother's surgery and I gave the remaining money to my boyfriend. Eh? Your what? Boyfriend? Are you mad? Why would you do that? I was so scared. The money was plenty. Hey, you see this girl? You are very stupid. Please, please, sir. I will collect the money. I will go to him. I will collect the money back. <laughs> you are a big fool. If you think a man will collect such money from you, you think he will allow you back into his life? You are joking. Where is he right now? And what is your relationship with him? See, sir, it's a long story. Oh. He traveled out of the country for a long time without communication. But now, I recently found out he's back. I went to visit him three days ago. As I was coming out of his house and walking down the street, your boy is kidnapped me. See, I hope all this your story is not a made-up story because it won't end well if i ever find out you are lying i will deal with you mercilessly i will deal with you your family won't be spared please sir i promise i swear i am not lying so how do you intend to get my money back I will do all in my power to get your money back. Just give me six months, you day Chris. Six months for what? I will only give you two months. And that two months is because you're a very pretty and beautiful lady. And I've not seen a beautiful lady like you in a long while. So, if you mess this up, remember, your whole family is at stake.
I will let you go. But know that my eyes are on you. Thank you so much, sir. I won't disappoint. Habiba begged and she was released. She went straight to Halima's house. Halima was shocked seeing her. Looking the way she was looking. Habiba, what happened? My friend, I can't go to my house right now. I am so scared and tired. I was kidnapped. Eh? Kidnapped? Halima looked at Tracy and Tracy smiled at her. But why don't you look surprised, Halima? Are you working with Alahaji's son? Ah, uh -uh. Why would you say such a thing, this girl? I am not working with anybody, Habiba. I was not looking shocked or surprised. Because Tracy, Tracy, what happened to Tracy? What about her? What does she have to do with the looks? Well, Tracy, yesterday, told me you were kidnapped. And as a smart street lady you are, you will come out fine. I was just surprised when she said that. And right in front of me, the same thing is happening. Ah, are the two of you working together or what? Abba, Halima, this is not a joke. We're not working together. We are not working together, Mama. Should I go and buy drink this time? Or should I stay and help Auntie Habiba out? Tracy, Mama, should I or should I not? Oh, yeah, stay. Thank you. Habiba, what happened? Hmm. Do you know that Alahaji is dead and gone? It was the son that did an autopsy on the father and discovered he was poisoned. And he also did some investigation about my involvement. That was how I was caught to. Now, he wants his money. Should I say his father's money? How he even got to know about the money? I don't know. But that is not my headache right now. He wants the money back. And he gave me only two months to get the money or he will start with my family. I am so scared, Halima. My problem is not even Frank. But the mother, all of a sudden, she hates me. How? That is even true, Habiba. What happened when you got to Frank's house? Hmm. My friend, his mother was there. As I got there, Frank called his mother so that I can greet her. Do you know that this woman started to rain insults on me? She even gave me a hot slap. Hey, yes, so just because I asked her to give me and Frank space to talk privately. Is she crazy? Hmm. My dear, I wanted to freak out, but... Because I came to Frank's house for a reason, so I endured it all. I was so calm. This woman called me an old hag, that I am too old to marry her son. If you see the way this woman insulted me, eh? You know, if it's normal, Habiba, ah, 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 the street girl, that woman go collect. She go see another side where she no like. But no problem. I need a plan. I need to get into Frank's house. I need to collect the house documents, the land documents, sell, and start paying for my debt. I'm in a deep mess. Halima, I am so scared and weak right now. I don't know what to do. Auntie Habiba. Hmm. Frank is a suicide mission, no. He's a very dangerous man, no. You really need to be very, very smart. I mean, not only street smart, though. You need to be a very good actor. 
who can pretend well get into character anytime you were about to be caught because what i'm about to say next will shock the both of you frank is a very stupid man or should i say a stupid boy he was busy spending all the money in clubs cars showing off he didn't even buy any landed properties auntie abiba he was lying when he told you he bought properties everywhere and he saved your fair fair flat. He was lying. He didn't buy any property. The money is in that house that you visited. And the good part is that he's a very big fool. He didn't save a penny out of that money. He didn't save any. He only takes what he needs. Go and change it in a bulky hand. That is, he will go and change the dollar in black market. Eh? Is it that stupid and foolish? Yes, he is, oh. But he was then smart where he kept those money. He placed a heavy security on the money. There is CCTV camera inside where he dropped those money and other traps that are invisible so auntie habiba we need to be very very careful as for frank's mother hmm, she's actually another troublesome person though. but we need to find a way to win her over if she refuses to do the needful then enter forcefully just that frank your stupid boyfriend listens to her mother very well so you really need to be very careful strategize on the way in which you should go after all you know frank more than us tracy hey i don't know how you got all this information but i'm convinced you know what you are saying ah i am so glad i met your mother I was so worried on how to deal with this mess. But hearing you talk now, I'm kind of relieved. No, thank you for saving my mother, auntie. If you didn't put that family planning, that is what is paining me the most. I am sure my mother would have given birth to like 20 children by now. So auntie, thank you so much. Your kind of friend there, they are rare. She left. Habiba smiled and turned to Halima. My good friend, see as you born yourself fool. <laughs> Please, I need to freshen up and think of how to start my mission. Then, after Sophia left her secret informant in a bar, she was walking down the street and was thinking of a good plan on a way to go about the whole situation she thought of fighting with her sister to show her sister that henry is dating the two of them so she can have a misunderstanding with henry sophia was thinking and she forgot that stephanie the secret informant lady told her not to do anything she should be very careful when she came back that afternoon, she met her sister Isabella standing in front of their mother's provision store, smiling and talking on the phone. It was obvious she was talking to Henry. Sophia approached her and told her that she wants to talk to her privately. But Isabella, the arrogant girl, she refused going anywhere. She asked Sophia to say whatever she wants to say there that she's standing, that she isn't following her to anywhere. Sophia, knowing how stubborn her sister can be, started to talk to her dear. Isabella, you know you're my only sister. And I know we have our issues. But please listen to me if i talk to you 
See, Sophia, I am not in the mood for tantrums, please. Say whatever you want to say and leave. Isabella, fine. I will talk. Henry is not who you think he is. I knew it. I knew it. Ever since he came to this house, you have not been yourself. I knew it. I knew I was right. You have been acting suspicious. You are not happy for me, right? I have finally gotten a man. And you, you have nothing. Isabella, can you allow me to finish talking? No. I will not allow you to talk any more nonsense. Henry is my man. And forever he will be. Very soon, with the way he's spoiling me with gifts, flowers, and vacations, I am sure he will soon propose to me. And you will be single to stupor. Isabella, stop it. Do you think men is my problem? I am still a young lady. I am in my early 20s. Forget the fact that I finished university on time. I still have a lot to achieve. I am your sister, Isabella. I am your blood sister. I am not your enemy. Whoever is and manipulating you to think I will do you bad is the real enemy. I love you, Isabella. And Henry is not who he claims to be. Listen, see, Sophia, I won't listen. I won't. You are just jealous. As they were angrily shouting and quarreling, Tracy came to buy drink that day. And Isabella mistakenly poured the drink. And Tracy gave her peace of her mind and called her a lady with small brain and sense and ran away. But Isabella didn't listen to her sister, Sophia. Rather, she called her a liar and that she's jealous of her for finding a good man, unlike her, who is single to stupor. Isabella angrily entered inside the house and Sophia followed her. But when they entered inside, they met their father at the sitting room. Isabella angrily asked her father to warn Sophia to stop meddling in her affairs. As usual, their father sided with Isabella without hearing the both of them out. He gave attention to Isabella and faced Sophia without listening to Sophia's side of the story. Sophia, why would you talk to your sister like that? But Papa, why are you always siding with Isabella without listening to my own side of the story? Why? This always happened in this house and today I will not tolerate it. Sophia, don't shout at me. I am your father. Father? Are you a father? Or a heartless man? Sophia forgot herself and her father slapped her. What gave you the balls to talk to me in such a manner? Are you mad? I'm a heartless man. Your own father heartless? No, Papa, no. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to call you that. Papa, I'm so sorry. You are a very stupid girl. You are senseless. That is why your sister is better than you. Leave her man alone, slut. Papa, did you just call me a slut? For what? Oh, do you think I didn't see the way you were stealing glances at your sister's man the day he came here to visit me, to see me and introduce himself? You were busy stealing glasses at your sister's man in secret. You are a disgrace to this family, Sophia. Sophia was just standing there, looking shocked. 
the way the table turned on her was so quickly. Then she now realized that Henley played a very big one on her. She did not listen to Stephanie. If she did, she wouldn't have learned herself in such a situation where everyone calls her a slut. How will Habiba penetrate Frank and his mother in order to save her family's life? Let us find out in the next episode of the story. Hey guys, thank you so much for your support on this channel. And if you don't want to miss out on the final part of the story, kindly subscribe so you will not miss out. If you enjoy the story, kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this story to your loved ones. Thank you. And if you want to support me, kindly buy me a coffee. The link is on the description and on my bio. See you on the final part of the story. Bye and God bless you.